This study shows the very large benefits on reducing strokes and heart attacks by slowly reducing the amount of salt in the food supply by getting the industry to slowly take it out. This was a very successful policy that was pursued from 2003 to 2011 and led to reductions in salt intake in the UK, a fall in blood pressure and a fall in the number of people dying and suffering. Unfortunately, with the coalition government and now a conservative government, the policy has failed largely due to government inaction. And the time has now come for Boris Johnson to take charge and get the industry to continue to reduce the very large and unnecessary amounts of salt they add to our food and continue the successful programme so we can see the maximum number of people being saved from unnecessary strokes and heart attacks and the huge amounts of money that would be saved to the National Health Service at very little cost. Indeed, for Boris Johnson, it's a no-brainer. 